Sheer force is an objective way to measure tenderness. Along with flavour, tenderness is one of the important characteristics which contributes to perceived meat quality. Most shear force tests are carried out on cooked samples to simulate how the consumer would treat meat in the home. When preparing your samples for cooking, make sure they are a similar size and clearly labelled. Using a temperature probe, you can monitor heat transfer during cooking and ensure the centre of the meat reaches the required end temperature. The cooking method has the ability to affect shear force results. Water bath cooking is a good way to make sure that heat is distributed evenly throughout the sample. When cutting your samples, square off an edge to reveal the direction of muscle fibres. Then cut the sample down into more manageable pieces. Your core should be representative of your sample, so ideally try to avoid areas which are highly marbled or have lots of connective tissue, unless this is what your sample looks like, in which case you should take them into consideration. Take cores from different areas to get a good overview of sample tenderness as a whole. Cores can be round or cubed. Cubed cores are easily repeatable and commonly used. 8 to 10 cores should be enough to show eating quality through tenderness. Fibre direction is key to achieving valid results. Ensure that the fibres are running along the length of the sample so that the blade can shear across them. In shear force testing, it is important to measure your cores precisely to ensure that they are uniform in size and shape. Cores should be 4 cm in length, 1 cm in height, and one centimetre in width. There are different types of blades which can be used. The Warner Bratzler replicates the jaw by producing a shear cut. When carrying out the shear force test, place the core under the blade in the centre. The blade will move down and shear through the sample to give a reading of the peak force applied. Work through the rest of the cores to get an average for the sample. This will give an indication of meat eating quality and could help to identify areas in production which could be altered to improve tenderness. <laughs>